coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe D.A. less is more. And thanks for the report. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Jackson Hayes. And it's McCollum in at the point guard position. And for the Bucks, sharing the wing spots, it's Allen and Middleton. Andy Takumbo is out there with Ibaka. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Presence of mind, really important. You know, this game is more mental than physical, and Middleton is a guy who stays in the moment. He's exceptional at knocking down a good shot off a good pass. Now, here's Alan Junis. Jones. Pass to Hayes. Six on the shot clock. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Another shot. And it's Ingram missing. Middleton against Ingram. And Anadokounmpo with the basket on the assist by Middleton. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Pass to Ingram. New Orleans moving the ball around. Outside, Jones. And he banks in the lane. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Allen. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. And here they come. Valanciunas, good. Yes, Valanciunas. No holding Valanciunas back there. He gets physical and gets through the contact. Allen outside. Back to Holiday. Middleton outside. Takes the three. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. One thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries Greg begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. Happens every season. The first one falls. I think people underestimated the Pelicans last year. They, they had such a tough start to the season, but still were able to make it to the playoffs. And both free throws good for Serge Ibaka. Unfortunately, the Pelicans did make a first-round exit in the postseason group. In a series they took to six games, but, yeah, they couldn't put together that deep run. Maybe this year things will be different. Now here's Ingram. Providing around 26 and a half points a game rarely has an off night. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Ingram. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Allen. Outside Holiday passes it to Middleton. Allen with it. And Jones sends it back. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. A defensive play like that early in the game 
can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. The Pelicans have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Ingram against Middleton. And it's Ingram missing. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for Milwaukee. Here's Hunter Takumbo, and that one drops for him. Giannis has got his second bucket tonight. And Hunter Takumbo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Ingram up top, defended by Middleton. Allen against Jones. He's in the post. Over onto the Kumbo. That one wide left. Milwaukee in the lead. Three on three. Here's Middleton. Good. And the assist goes to Giannis. You know, this is one of the reasons why Giannis's teammates appreciate him. Because when they're open, he finds you. Now McCollum coming off a solid outing against Washington. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second person. And Greg, ball. even with teams Second daring team Giannis ball. to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage ball. stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. throw good Giannis and Giannis's journey GA is so incredibly compelling a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA well you hear that saying my life is like a movie never truer than for Giannis it's been an odyssey for the Greek freak Larry Nance has checked in for Hayes That misses, so he splits the free throws. And, guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young core. And with the eight pick in Dyson Daniels, that the Pels added to their bevy of young wing defenders. They're building a team to contend. Now here is Holiday. Brandon Ingram missing his last shot. Six to shoot. The pass to Middleton. Here's Ibaka. Nice work on the board. Staying off with the best. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Man's down low. And to the Kumbos there. A three from McCollum. They get it back. To stop the drought. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. The kick out to Holiday. Pass to Giannis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Giannis has got seven. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Ingram. Alan Junis inside. Defended by Ibaka. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Giannis passes to Middleton. Holiday finds Allen. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. 
Here's onto Takumbo. Two points. That one goes. He's got nine. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. McCollum with the bounce pass. It's McCollum on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Under the Kumbo grabs the miss. Bucks leading by seven. It is now to Ibaka. Under the Kumbo trying to break loose. Ibaka, no luck. Here's Jones. Here's Nance. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And what I like about Nance Jr. is how he positions himself. Knows his strengths on offense and plays to them. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most. That's, that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. Lopez is checked in for a bucket. Bobby Portis comes in for Chris Middleton. And Kevin Porter subbed in for Allen. Porter against Graham. Back to Porter. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Pass to Graham. Here's Alvarado. He had 10 points in the win against Washington. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. Now, here is Murphy. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Giannis passes to Porter. Top of the key jumper, no good. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Graham inside the line. It's rebounded by Portis. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Holiday dishes to Giannis. Giannis is double. Lopez kicks to Porter. And he gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by seven. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's Alvarado. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Nance outside. Little with the ball. Giannis is there, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. Yeah, really left him no choice there. Taking, he had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Clark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset.
And he can't hit the second. You know, you can't say enough about how important Griff Lopez was to the Bucks' 2021 title run. He gave that team an element they needed to get over the top, particularly as a rim protector and a guy who could score when needed. Now here's Graham following the miss by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Here's Alvarado. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. When Lopez Clark arrived in Milwaukee in 2018, it was a pretty good union, wasn't it? I agree, Kevin. I mean, he opened up their offense with his ability to stretch the floor as a big guy who can knock down threes. And then he really improved defensively and became an elite rim protector. The Bucks became a league power when Brooke Lopez arrived. And the title came just a few years later. No coincidence. And now in his 14th NBA season, That's just his one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. For Milwaukee, Drew Holiday. One shot. Free throw, no good for Holiday. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked just one all-star game but Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons now Porter after Nasir Little missing on that last three-pointer Porter passes to Lopez a good finish at the rack off the slick feet and it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead I don't know what's happening defensively but they're not putting up any resistance I tell you what it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches he used to say that ain't gonna get it done that's five straight baskets in the paint now. Here's Alvarado. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Holiday with the defensive effort. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. Their last encounter was in New Orleans where they were able to handle the Pelicans. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But in that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. You know, whether it was their smart play or a few whistles that perhaps could have gone either way, when, when games are tight, every decision becomes more magnified. Here's Little. The 18-footer is right on the mark. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You, you know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Here's Antetokounmpo after Nasir Little's bucket. Giannis outside. Lopez. No good on the triple. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Graham kicks to Little. To the inside. He can't hit that time. Good D by Lopez. Bucks leading by nine. Passes to Porter. And here is Lopez. Giannis outside. And he lays it straight in. Giannis has got 11. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. And so it's Milwaukee. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in the second and a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee getting downhill has really been impressive to me not settling from the outside they're going right to the rack and something else that I liked is how they attack the paint finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again on the court right now second quarter for the Pelicans McCollum and Jones are their guards. Brandon Ingram's out there with Jackson Hayes. And it's Valanciunas in at the center position. Now here's Jones. The rebound by Marjanovic. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Porter finds Allen. Here's Washington. 
Middleton outside. Shot clock at six. Goes up from the top of the key. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. You know, even when the defense is good and really active and aggressive on Middleton, doesn't phase him. He's a real pro. And he's good at knocking down jump shots. Now the pass to Hayes. Shoots over Washington. That's in, and the Milwaukee yeah, lead is cut Hayes. to just 11 on the basket from Hayes. He can be a matchup nightmare if he can get it in the paint. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. we got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. McCollum dishes to Jones. Back to McCollum. Now here's Jones. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Marjanovic. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Allen, that's good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. And that one is good. Allen Junis has got eight points. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanchunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. Now here's Allen. Pass to Middleton. All alone. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. McCollum passes to Ingram. Kicks it out to McCollum. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's foul number two for him. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth. And it's not usually literal, but... What's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out hustling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally. And I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. Pelicans trail by 16. Down low, here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. Now here's Allen. Washington finds Porter. Allen outside. A three ball. A second chance effort. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Well, it's a nice sight to see Washington attacking inside. Just making the defense the foul. Line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. P.J. Washington. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. Washington hits them both. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. Now, here's Valanciunas. He's got 10, and it's New Orleans scoring again. And, you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. 
pass to Allen. And they call an illegal screen here. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Now here's Ingram. 29 points for him last game against Washington. And here's McCullum for three. Bangs He's home the McCullum. trifecta. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot to close this gap. Here is Porter. 11 points for him in that last game against Indiana. Middleton inside the three-point line. The shot, no good. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Tipped away. Stolen by Washington. Here's Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Valanciunas, good. And every team loves getting a night like this out of their big man. Valanciunas is timeout, the biggest lion oh, in the Serengeti. Timeout called the Bucks. In. Your young Bucks dancers, give them a round of applause. Kicks it down to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Allen outside, passes it to Washington. Just five on the clock. On its way from a backer for two. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The New Orleans Pelicans come into this one after the win against the Wizards. Ingram passes to McCollum. There's the triple. No good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. And there's the pass to Middleton. Back to Porter. He kicks it to Allen. Over Alvarado. Allen, that's good. Allen's got seven points in the game. Pelicans trail by 13. Pass to Alvarado. Now, here's Valanciunas, defended by Ibaka. No good from Valanciunas. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now, here's Porter. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Alvarado passes to Hayes. Middleton against Ingram. Releases. Solid as a rock from 20 feet away. Ingram's got his second basket of the game. Ingram's height enables him to get his shot off without worrying too much about the defense. 
Middleton the pass to Washington. Outside Porter. Pass to Middleton. It's blocked. And they'll keep possession. And he's able to get it back. Here's Washington. And here's McCollum. He's a guy we see deliver on a nightly basis. Averaging about 24 and a half points a game. Here's Allen. Driving in. Good. And the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists in the game. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And the picture of consistency. Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Substitution here for Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Ibaka. Portis comes in for P.J. Washington. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Drew Holiday in for Kevin Porter. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Graham. And the pass to Alvarado. And a miss there on the triple. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. Here's Graham. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Kicks to Little. Here's Alvarado, guarded by Holiday. Graham gets a wide open look. And again, no good by New Orleans. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's a nightly triple double threat, and I think Giannis is the most unguardable player in the game. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Both free throws, good for Giannis. Pelicans trail by 19. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Nance passes to Alvarado. Pass to Graham. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, 
strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Milwaukee, no good that time either. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Little dishes to Nance. And he takes Larry it in for the layup Jr. off a very nice feed. Nance has got his second bucket of the night. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10, right at him, get to the rack. Now here is Holiday. A 26-point game for him in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. And so here is New Orleans following the shot by Drew Holiday. And that one, good. Larry Nance. Nance has got four points now in the quarter. Bucks leading by 15. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Here's the three. Headshot off. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it. And you could feel that they were playing for each other. Now here is Holiday. Nasir Little missing his last shot. Over to the wing. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. First personal Boy, courage and conviction that time by Graham. Goes into the foul hard, but would not be denied. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for one. One shot. The free throw off from Graham. And you know, in my opinion, Graham needs to focus on being more consistent. Raising those shooting percentages, I think, goes a long way to his development. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes, they last days. And so it's Milwaukee finding a 15 point lead at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Mike. Stout effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? I just think our activity on the ball, we got to try and keep it in front of us. Our bigs did a good job, I think, being big in the paint, making things tough there. We got to finish it with the board. Yep, rebounds and possessions, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And please give up big round. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Ed Kumbo in this one. He's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Ibaka in at the center, locking down the middle. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. And with that great handle and high basketball IQ, McCollum remains a lethal pick-and-roll option. Offensive rebound, and onto the Kumbo, slams it in. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. And a wide-open look for McCollum. How oh, good with the triple. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and it's certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. And you got to worry about Ibaka everywhere, inside, beyond the arc, and the mid-range. He'll find that spot to beat to Ingram. 
He kicks to McCollum. Clock at six. Over Holiday. They get it back. Valanciunas. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. First personal foul. And how about the positioning on the glass there by Valanciunas? Just not afraid to throw that large body around. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he's kept this percentage at a decent level, right around 74. You know, it's been a rougher year than he expected at the line, guys. I mean, he's seen the numbers dropping off for him this year. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Boy, Valanciunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. Middleton finds to Jacumbo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside, Jones. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. The Pelicans have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. Uh, but just a tad worse, so not too bad. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Outside Holiday. Middleton inside the three-point line. That won't go. He's failed to score in six of his 11 tries from the field. Ingram against Middleton. Ingram kicks to Jones. Passes it to Hayes. Jones trying to get open, Jackson and with that, the Bucks' lead is cut That's down to just 12 team. points on the bucket from Hayes. Bucks have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Middleton looking it over, shoots over Ingram. Middleton can't get it to go. Pelican shooting pretty good tonight at 48 percent. Steps back and fires, and it's New Orleans scoring again. A terrific score from the mid-range. Ingram knows how to use his size and touch from there. And you look at the way Ingram can get off the shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the back wall. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. I love his ability to carry his team for, for long stretches in games. And we're right now in one of those stretches. He's been doing this for a couple of games in a row now, so he's, uh, he's rolling. Porter's checked in for Grayson Allen. Shooting one. Free throw no good for Giannis. A creator indeed, and the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. And, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. Makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Out to Ibaka. Outside, Porter. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Outside, Holiday. Middleton for three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. I now call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. switch here. Marjanovic has checked in. McCollum with the ball. Five points in the game. Middleton the pass to Holiday. That's good from Porter on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got five assists tonight. Man, that was impressive. Kevin Porter Jr. The concentration needed to score that one. Very impressive. That's tipped. It's stolen by the Takumbo. Here's Middleton. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Bucks. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I CJ love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. And you can't give McCollum any space. Always a threat to pull the trigger. Now the pass to Porter. Now to Takumbo trying to free himself up. And that one's split by Porter. Porter's got four points this quarter. McCollum with the bounce pass. Ingram outside. Stolen by Middleton. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, you've got to recognize how active Middleton is on defense. I mean, this is a guy that you can't afford to be careless around. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And their last game, a tight win, and it was the success at the foul line that played a huge part in it, and he was probably the deciding factor. We've seen it so often. I mean, when you're talking close games, it typically comes down to free throw shooting. And he was on target from the strike. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. Ingram outside. Pass to Jones. Porter with the steal. A finish. And finished off by Porter. Showing you that awesome potential on that sequence. Porter Jr. doing everything himself on both ends of the floor. It's McCollum on the wing, guarded by Holiday. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Guys, yeah, hard enough to win in this league, but when you continue to hurt yourself because of miscues, it makes it all the more difficult. Well, you put yourself in a tough spot. I mean, eight points yielded off turnovers this quarter already. Nasir Little, he's checked in for Hayes. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for Milwaukee. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Here's Giannis through the net again. He's done that 10 times tonight, and he's only needed 11 shots to get there. Ingram passes to Jones. Now Little. New Orleans moving the ball around. Five to shoot. Looking to end the run. No good on that one. Great D that time for Middleton. Holiday with the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Outside, Jones. 
McCollum against Holiday. The 15 footer and the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got 10 points. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Bobby Portis comes in for Marjanovic. And it's P.J. Washington in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Holiday, the pass to Portis. Back to Holiday. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. He is the epitome of a seasoned veteran. Drew Holiday has performed at a high level no matter what uniform he's had on. New Orleans making a switch here. Murphy's checked in. Free throw, good, Holiday. And about Drew Holiday, he's got that championship mentality. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, he established time that time with time the Bucks, winning it's the title time that time late time. in your career, especially after the career he's had, it's got to feel good. I mean, by far, one of the hardest workers in the game, Drew Holiday. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Here's Alvarado, guarded by Holiday. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities. And I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But bottom line, more teams means more jobs. And that's a sentiment I think most can get behind. And the first one drops. So he gets them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. He dishes it to Murphy, taken away by Holiday. Murphy against Middleton. Pass to Portis. Over Alvarado. Nice shot by Portis. Portis has got five now. And Middleton just does a little bit of everything out there. A perfect team player. Passes to Alvarado. From 11 feet away. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Bobby Portis. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there.
The first one falls. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Both shots good from the strike. Bucks leading by 22. Outside Holiday. There's the pass to Middleton. A three-pointer off the mark. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Here's Murphy. And again, New Orleans has no up. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Porter passes to Holiday. Middleton outside. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 14. Some solid defense from Ingram. For New Orleans, they've gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Pass to Alvarado. Back to Ingram. Nance against Washington. Now here's Little. He's covered closely. Kevin Porter Jr. First personal foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting for New Orleans. Nasir Little. Two shots. The free throw drops for Little. A different look for Milwaukee. Lopez comes in for P.J. Washington. And Allen subbed in for Kevin Porter. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Inside. Rebound by Drew Holiday. Bucks leading by 21. Allen passes to Holiday. To the middle. It's stolen by Nance. to Alvarado. Dishes it to Ingram. He feeds it to Murphy. Passes it to Alvarado. Ingram outside. Kept alive. Nance plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Nance has got eight points. Oh, how pretty is that? Use the rim to protect the ball perfectly. And there's the pass to Allen. Back to Middleton. Pass to Portis. They could use a bucket. They get the rebound. The shot by Holiday, no good. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Back to Nance. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third personal foul. That one is on Holiday. The Pelicans have been shooting right around 75% of the line. Nine of 12 so far. Taking two shots. He's off on the first. McCollum's checked in for the Pelicans. Yeah. 
so neither attempt will fall that time for him. Bucks leading by 19 points. And Holiday has it in the corner. To the paint. Lopez kicks to Allen. Stolen by McCollum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A crafty move by McCollum there, making sure he initiates the contact before letting the shot go. This is his first chance at the line tonight. 76% at the stripe for him thus far this season. And I like the fact, guys, that those numbers have gone up since last season. I mean, he said free throw shooting was an area he was looking to improve, and he has. And the first one at the line is good. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. Hayes, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And so he hits both. Bucks leading by 17. And Holiday kicks to Allen. Back to Holiday. Outside Portis. Pass to Allen. Trying to end the drought. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Cullen passes to Alvarado. New Orleans moving it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Count it good. Jose Alvarado's got six in the quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Outside Holiday. That shot off the mark. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. They've leaned on him for offense and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read? He made here looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Hayes, and it's McCollum in at the one. Not a whole lot the defense can do there. I mean, Holiday just staying within himself, under control, despite the aggressive coverage. Back to McCollum. Last season, of course, Marcus Smart on the Defensive Player of the Year. You know, Greg, it's rare to see a guard win it. Should perimeter players get more consideration from this point on? It's tough, Kev. I, I do think they should. And I think the, the numbers, though, tend to favor the rim protectors. But it's only right to recognize great defense at every position, especially in an age of positionless basketball. At the line for Milwaukee, Bobby Portis. At the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He doesn't get the second one. Pelicans trail by 19. Jones kicks to McCullough. 
And that comes off the assist by Jones. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Allen passes to Ibaka. Allen with it. Passes to Holiday. But Trey, it's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got rebound number five here tonight. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Jones for three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Holiday against Valanciunas. And Holiday kicks to Ibaka. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Jones in the post. He's against Allen. Jones, no luck. And so Allen will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Oh, the, the officials are all over that. Yeah. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice Personal but foul. to blow the whistle. I mean, team foul. You got to play without foul. Shooting for New Orleans. C.J. McCollum. Two shots. The throw good, McCollum. So he picks up just one from the line that time. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Allen passes to Anandakumbo. And he converts the layup. Anas has got 10 points here in the second half. There are nights that Anandakumbo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. And Hayes kicks to Jones. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. Just good aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Timeout called the Bucks. send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Ibaka, and the foul called on Atatakumbo. That's his third foul of the game. First team foul. And 
And here are the Pelicans. They're on an 11 to 3 run. A step back shot here. The Pelicans get another chance here. Ingram kicks to Jones. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Jones has got it back down to single digits for the Pelicans. McCollum against Holiday. The shot from 20 feet away. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Pelicans trail by nine. Now McCollum, Ingram outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Ibaka, the pass to Holiday. Drills the elbow jumper. Holiday's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, what a sweet touch from the mid-range from Holiday. I like seeing him capitalize from this area of the floor. Alan Junis against Ibaka. 13 feet away. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Alan Junis. And it's onto Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Outside Ibaka. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. He won a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. On offense, here are the Pelicans. They're on a 16-5 run here. Holiday against McCollum. Here's the three. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. The pass to Hayes. Fires from deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ante Dekumbo has got his seventh rebound here tonight. The kick out to Holiday. And again, the Bucks miss. Boy, defense non-existent there. But they catch a break as he whiffs it. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from McCullum. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. And to the Kumbo. Got it. Good job in the low post. Giannis has got 12 points in just the second half. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, powers through. Ingram gets to McCullough. Outside, Jones, six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal wow. wow, he got whacked on that one. Well, shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. Taking two shots. Free throw, no good. Chris Middleton's checked in for Portis. And a change for the Pelicans. Alvarado's checked in. And he sinks the second. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Leading by five. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. Ibaka, the best to Middleton. Off target with his three. 
and since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. Allen kicks to Ibaka. Middleton outside. Five on the clock. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Pelicans trail by five. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, C.J. McCollum. Well, I tell you what, DeRozan has been incredible with his attacking at the offensive end, and it's been all game long. Never hesitating to attack a gap in the defense, and then he found a lot of points by slicing his way right to the cup. Outside. Pass to Alvarado. The dish to Jones. Pass to Alvarado. Down low. And Hayes gets to Valanciunas. Clock is at three. Near the three point line. It's Ingram. No good that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Allen passes to out of the Kumbo. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Super quick in transition, the Greek freak jumping down the throat of the defense with that speed. Outside, Jones. This is it to Ingram. Here's Alvarado. Ingram outside. Over Middleton. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Ingram. And the stroke of Ingram, boy, just looks so pure coming off his hand. Here's Middleton. Kicks it out to Allen. Fires the three. Tries it again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. At the line for Milwaukee, Chris Middleton. Find the lane. Shooting Let's one. See. Pelicans trail by eight. The pass to Alvarado. Allen against Jones. Lock at six. Here's Ingram. Ingram can't get that one to fall. It's just been a frustrating day for him all the way around. And it's rubbed off now, I think, on the rest of the team. 
to the inside. And under the combo, shoves it in. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. Here's Ingram. That one goes in. Ingram's got four points this quarter. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Giannis passes to Middleton. Here's Jones. That's good. It's Ingram with the assist. Jones has got 15 points here in the second half. Bucks leading by six. Allen outside. Mr. Holiday. 141 left to play in the final quarter. The bucket, the pass to Holiday. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Boy, there is an understated, quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. That he's strong and tough foul. and persistent. Team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Drew Holiday. Find the lane. Find the lane. At the That's line up. for one. Free throw, no good for Holiday. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Middleton against Ingram. And Middleton kicks to Allen. Outside Holiday. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Allen shot is off. And it's Jones with the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Eight-point game over Giannis. Giannis grabs the miss. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. Allen finds Holiday. Left side of Baca. Pass to Middleton. Wide open. Makes a big high bounce and goes in. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Taken away by Hayes. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, I'd agree with you. Chalk it up, W in the bag. And it's Alvarado missing. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you next time.